Hello everybody, welcome back to Quantum Break with me, Transfat. Alrighty, let us go in the elevator to get to Will's car. Hey Will. Going up. Come on. Okay. We can't go to your car. Monarch could be expecting that. We have to, Jack. It's important. To fix the fracture. I... I need... We need to get to my car. Okay, just, just walk me through this, Will. Okay, time's broken. Fine. But now you're saying we can fix it? In theory, I built something for such an event years ago. But finding the countermeasure won't be easy. The countermeasure? What? Okay. What happened? Maybe the door's still open. Let me try. Well, we are the opener of doors, aren't we? Will? Oh, crap. Frozen again. <laughs> Somehow I could focus and unfreeze Will. Even if the world was still frozen. Stutter. She was right. About the fracture. About all of us. Can I interact with their guns? It looks like I can. SMG assault rifle. Well, that's an M416. I'll take that. Yeah. What do you, what do you got? Okay. <laughs> Just take my shit. You don't want to be here when the stutter collapses. If you say so. Where's your car? This way. Don't mind me. Just taking all your ammo. Well, and the guns. That's just rude. I met this girl on my way here. Well, let's help them, I guess. What are you doing? I'm gonna get her moving. Freezing. It worked on you. Why isn't it working on the others? I don't know. It may have to do with chrono exposure. That's what I was thinking. Look at them all. It's a goddamn invasion. What are they doing? Why? They're taking everybody, every witness to what they've done. How much ammo can I carry? <laughs> can I actually take my guns out? Isn't that where the TV was? Now it's two monitors. No. There's, there's no monitor. Okay. Strange. That's, uh... I forget their name. We've seen them right in front of the, uh, the physics building. We can get to the parking lot through the ledge hall. You said you were prepared for this, that you knew it was gonna happen. How? Beth Wilder. It's complicated. I'll explain in the car. Noon? No noon? Through this door. How do you pronounce that? Totman? What's your hell is? You going first. Just in case. Organic chemistry, huh? Stuff has collapsed. For now. Oh, what? Alan Wake. Oh, no, no. My car. The patrol in the parking lot. Oh, God, that's... It's... Okay. Okay, Will. Calm down, okay? I'll take care of this. I'll, I'll fight my way through. I'll get the car and I'll bring it around. Wow. This, this is a lot about Alan Wake here. Alice Wake. He's mad. 
That's pretty cute. Also, I've learned since last episode that uh, that Remedy, the devs of this game, and Alan Wake, they have recently um, uh, you sure you can handle this? registered no. the uh, domain name sure uh, Alan Wake Returns. Then we'll call it even. It's kind of interesting. Got to be something up here, right? No? Okay. Yeah, or, oh, I could read that. I didn't actually notice a little indicator there. Probably snag that. Alan Wake. I love this guy's stuff. Hmm. So, the events of Alan Wake are, are canonical in this universe? It's interesting. What's that? Here. Oh, door stops. Am I driving? Hey, Jack. Be careful. Yeah, okay, I, I will. Well, time vision. Press V to activate time vision to locate enemies, hazards, and items. Time vision deactivates when you move. Okay. What the hell? My powers were growing. I started to sense things, premonitions, echoes from the past. Just got orders from Monarch Actual. They want us to find a car belonging to William Joyce while we're here. Got a plate number? It's coming. It's probably more Petron or some shit. <clears throat> okay, so that doesn't actually freeze time. Interesting. Okay. Uh, no, I have a nicer thing. Fill the assault rifle ammo. I mean, it wasn't full after all that shenanigans. So apparently, the rifle I picked up only had three rounds in it. Okay. Is it 28 rounds? That doesn't look like 30. Also, I noticed while editing, this is a Glock 17. It holds 17 bullets. This one has eight. <laughs> yes. Okay, so there's another. Yeah, that looks like another ammo box. And we're trying to get to Will's car. They mentioned it having like a nerdy name. Maybe that is a hint? Or they just, is that just a joke? We got contact! No, you don't. Oh, seriously? It's supposed to be. Okay, so we can see their drop weapons as well. Time echoes. When you see a time vision icon blink, you press V to reveal hidden time triggers. I could see an echo of the past. Will, arriving at the university. Okay, that's neat. Get a little story through uh, mechanics. Little, little Ludo narrative. Gotta, gotta use that word in this to make myself feel smart. I hope the god is not too late. late. But that's. I'm seeing the past. I hope the god is not too late. late. There we go. Hmm. Interesting. Why did I icon change? Oh well. That must have been not that far in the past, then. Oh, shit! Tap mouse three to cast a time stop. To cast Something time clicked. stop. I could reach out and stop time in a focused area. Help me. You don't know what you're doing! Well... Fuck! I can't even worry about Will. Hold down the to A. Well, don't need to stop time there. I can just, you know, shoot them. Let's go to the world anyway. Uh, I guess. 
that at times cost to stack your bolts for extra damage. Maybe that'll be necessary at some point. You're so annoying. Control. So you get. What? Really? I felt like seven rounds in your face. Go over there. Stop. Stop breathing. Taking him to the library. You might still be able to catch them. Why are you helping me? You're with them. It's more complicated than. Look, I don't know if you can make it, but you should hurry. That's the first time you saw Beth Wilder. Yeah, but definitely not the first time she saw me. Will. Will! I don't know. False advertising. Act 1, Part 3, li Library Chase. Doesn't seem very wild to me at all. Despite having, you know, sticking a gun in her face. No time to lose. I gotta get to Will. Mm hmm. Time echoes when you see a time. Okay, yeah. So there's a time echo here. Apparently. Maybe a few of them? It's supposed to take William, William Joyce, Joyce alive if he doesn't put, he doesn't up, a put fight. up a fight. Please, please, let me go. Let me go. I can I shut can the shut hell up. The hell but just shut just the shut fuck up, up alright? Right? Boss said to take him to the library. Wants to deal with this with this first. Hmm. The subtitle said Monarch Guard Bandit. They're, they're bandits, apparently. <laughs> Fuck! Tap shift to time dodge. Shit, shit. Oh, shit. She went along, mysterious stranger. No, 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 no! Oh, that's, that's not good. Whoa! Oh, that's pretty cool. Going on in there. Too much to it. Go, go, go! I, I'm, I must be missing something with that that whole shooting into the slow down area mechanic. I gotta get to the library. That's where they're taking you. Okay, another MP7. Are any goodies in here? It doesn't look like it. Kind of reminds me of playing um, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Okay. Gotta keep moving, Jack. 
It don't make sense. sense. Dragging this asshole to the library? Airlift's already initiated. He should be gone by now. The time machine. You taking the time machine? Hey, hey. I said no talk. talk. Careful, Will. They're made of tetrahedrons. They're very sharp. Goodies? Goodies? No? Nothing? Well, that's boring. Okay. McDonald Cafeteria. You still had no idea that Wilder was helping you? She wasn't the only one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, time is on our side. <laughs> yes. Nothing. Hold no student just after time balance to trigger focus time. Somebody cut me. Okay. I'm not sure what that actually did. I tried to do what they did. Oh, there we go. Oh, I have a feeling I almost died there. Oh, I did die. Okay. So, so that happened. First death. Yay. <laughs> oh, it's taking a while to load. It's on my SSD. Alright, let's, let's try that again. It was a fail. Hold mouse to. Lights across the whole damn campus. Hostiles here. It's Joyce. Now, now. I'm not actually sure what that accomplished, honestly. Try that again. Once you get past three, you should probably stop numbering them. <laughs> Just a little bit, maybe? Get to the library. It's weird. Is this is this two? Is this way I'm supposed to go? I guess so. Heavy pistol. No I gotta get to Will. Uh, that's a five seven. But it's not a heavy pistol. It has four rounds. Okay. I mean, I appreciate all the futuristic weapon, um, or weaponry, but, uh, <laughs> that's silly. 5.7 is not, not a heavy pistol. Have to reach Will before it's too late. Yes, yes, Jack. Shush. Why are you taking me here? It's a library. I need to return some fucking books. HQ, we've got William Joyce in the library. Waiting orders. Over. Will. They took him to the library. I gotta find a way in. I gotta get to him fast. 
Okay. Have you thought about the door? Maybe? Where did that come from? That sounded unfortunate. Use space to jump or space to climb over obstacles, okay? That is a thing. Where are you? Looks like I'm not the only one with a grudge. Oh, bodies. Uh, here I thought it was gonna be a quiet night. But it sounds like things have taken a real bad turn down at the anti-monarch protest at Riverport University. I don't know exactly what's going on, but I've just heard about security personnel in the employee of Monarch Solutions detaining students. And some reports of gunfire. Now, I don't want to jump the gun here. This is unconfirmed, and obviously I don't know the details, but no matter how you slice it, it sounds like a bad scene. You know I'm not a big fan of Monarch or how they do things, but at the same time, I hope nobody's going overboard with this protest thing. It's just a goddamn building, people. It ain't worth anybody getting shot over. Although, if they are shooting people over, that's some heinous bullshit right there. Either way, I've got a feeling this is gonna get a whole lot worse before it gets better. Stay safe, people. Will do. I don't know why the whole 5-7 heavy pistol thing is bothering me as much as it does. Oh, okay. I gotta climb up there somehow. A little parkour going here. Perhaps? How am I gonna jump? What, is, what, what was that? What is? What are you doing, Jack? What? I, okay. Yeah, it seems to want me to go up there. I don't think I could shoot down, right? No ladders up there. Okay, maybe... I can't jump from there to there, can I? <laughs> nope. Maybe this isn't the way to go. No, because I can't get back. Okay. Look at the scissor lift. That looks like a way up. Thank you, Jack. Time for this. Nice, nice hint. Gotta slow that thing down somehow. Mm hmm. <laughs> okay. Nailed it. So we get some, some time, time power puzzle solving. It's a very narrow ladder. many readables as uh, in the last episode, am I? I mean, I'm okay with that. that uh, kind of a strain on my voice to be reading all those things. HQ, we've got William Joyce in the library. Awaiting orders. They got him. Over. I wonder where the Roger. brother is. Is ready to blow. Now? Enemy spotted! What? You're full crap. Wow, I'm almost dead. Why did it switch weapons? Oh, it switched weapons when I ran out of ammo in one of them. That's kind of interesting. Not sure if I'm a fan of that, honestly, though. Then again, I think this is a console port, right? So you gotta make it easier for the console kitties. 
Okay. So five minutes, huh? Control to create time shield with flex bullets. I don't feel like we have too many abilities. They'll seem to have their own recharge thing too. whole new batch of messed up shit I need you to explain. <laughs> ah, you're fine. Cool. Being such a baby. Oh, those are highlighted. That's nice. Okay. I'm gonna know what boy is having issue with the uh, shooting through the, the slowed enemies. I think it's just the very nature of uh, shooting into a dome like that. I think the third person shooting mechanics aren't quite as tight as I thought they were. We have to hurry. Where's my car? I didn't like the color. Let's get a new one. What? No, Jack. I need them. Uh. Hold that thought. Yeah, stuff's blowing up. My briefcase was in that car. I'll take you shopping. It's a fucking briefcase. A briefcase that contains something I need in order to stop the fracture. And you didn't think to spell that out to me before. Yeah, well, it's not too late to leave you here. Is this really the time? That's part of the messed up shit I need to explain. You got any theories about being able to manipulate time? No. Also, why, why is my character so proficient at, at firefighting? Why are they still shooting? Because they wanted to take us alive. I think they changed their minds. Hey there. There is not 30 rounds in this magazine. Is that all of them? Yeah, I think so. We have to get to my briefcase. Then we find Beth Wilder. Why? Who is she? She knows about the fracture. I trust her. I'm glad you trusted somebody. Mm hmm. It's not that simple, Jack. They kept secrets from you to keep you safe. Safe? Look around you, Will. Does this feel safe to you? This isn't my fault. Beth warned me this would happen. I did everything in my power to stop it. But you never told me any of this. I couldn't just... How long have you known? <clears throat> we don't have time for this now, Jack. We have to get to that briefcase. The icon was coming up. Doesn't that mean there's a... Hmm. That means there was like a, a thing to look at. <laughs> Maybe it's only when it's yellow? 
can't remember now. The tutorial was all 10 minutes ago. Before more of them show up. And, you know, before the building blows up. Jack! Oh, I'm not surprised. Paul? Jack, we gotta go. Hold on. What are you doing? Only what's necessary. Think about this. You don't know what's at stake. I know exactly what's at stake. That's why I'm here. You believe you can stop what's coming? I'm giving you one chance to change your mind. This path, it's already said it can't be changed. The past, the future, uh, uh, I've seen it. I've lived it for 17 years. 17 years. It was you, the first experiment. Come with me and we can see this through. Or hold on to your hope and burn with it. Now listen, I built a device. I can stop this. I can. You can't. This is madness. There's no harm in trying. There is. That's why I can't risk you opposing me, Will. It doesn't have to end like this. We can't just let this happen. I'll never stop trying. It took me years to come to terms with what must be done. But we don't have years. Wait. Trigger. I never wanted this. Unlocked. Hold, hold, hold on to your hope and burn. So, plot twists, thickening of plot. It's happening. I, I clicked and it's not progressing. Uh -huh. I guess we'll continue. Yep, that's what we're playing. Junction 1, Hardline, PR. CFR Chamber, October 10th, 2016. 25 hours after a fracture in time. My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would question my actions. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I've always been devoted to my mission, never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice, because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. No word from Jack Joyce's transport. It should have arrived here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. We can't afford any further obstacles at this stage of the plan. Now, I see two options. We could use force, remove any loose ends. But if those witnesses disappear... The public will start asking questions, potentially turn on Monarch. Alternatively, I could mount a broad PR strategy, get the city on our side. But that leaves us with the... The loose serene. ends. Precisely. The choice is yours, but keep in mind, 
The men will view your decision as a unified strategy moving forward. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> I want this delivered to my office. What is it? A reminder. Who? I think that was the ripple icon thing? Well, that's important. I suggest we deal with the issue at hand. Liam Burke over there can explain the situation in more detail. Eh. Of course. Jack would never understand the necessity of what I'd done. It wasn't the death William deserved. But his knowledge posed too great a risk to our plan. Okay, William Joyce dossier. William Joyce, classification, project consultant for Project Promenade. Witness to core heist operation. Objective, capture alive if possible. Deliver to Paul Serene. Relevant background, a strange brother of Jack Joyce, renowned physicist, proposed the existence of Cronon Field at age 19. Wow. Paul, first. the men are waiting for your input. I, I'm reading. Please. Invented the first time machine prototype. Developed countermeasure. Okay, that was mentioned. Joined Project Promenade as a consultant after death of Dr. Kim. You hear about the library? Notable qualities. Serene brought down the whole building just to take out that geek. There's no subtitles there. Stone cold, man. Talk about making a point. Shh, he's listening. Yes, yes we are. Uh, history of exhibiting erratic behavior, undiagnosed, uh, but likely suffers from a schizophrenic form disorder. Highly intelligent, received warnings of fracture from unknown female source. May have received knowledge of Cronon-related monarch operations. Or refused to accept inevitability of end of time. May lead to unpredictable behavior. Briefing. Dr. Joyce will be pres present in the Time Machine Lab during the onset of the fracture at 4.15 a.m. All exits are to be covered by Prowler team. Raider team will wait until 4.16 to breach the Time Machine room. William Joyce is to be apprehended upon entry. Okay. It was the first time I'd visited the Ground Zero operation in ages. The location I'd arrived in when I went 17 years back in time. The location where my fate was sealed six years ago. Interesting. Green zone. You might experience minor or none chronon radiation exposure, CRE. Symptoms. Continuous visits should not exceed 480 minutes or 8 hours. This is an operational area. Zone clearance level 4 required. Okay, so that's the green zone. Yellow zone. Increased density of re residual chronon particles present. Company approved PPE must be worn beyond this point. Report to the supervisor and leave the area immediately if you experience any type 2 CRE symptoms. Okay, so I guess the chronon radiation exposure, which is probably what Jack and um, Serene uh, are having issues with. And our, uh, our buddy there um, mentioned Serene needed treatment when his hand was going all timey-wimey. Uh, so maybe the radiation does something to the body other than, you know, give them abilities. Uh, red zone, potentially irreversible damage from CRE unless chronon environmental suit worn. This is an operational area. Zone clearance level six required. Personnel need to complete extraction protocol training sequence before entering this area. If you experience any type three CRE symptoms, contact Dr. Sophia Emeral immediately. Okay. Interesting. We had Jack in custody. But I was starting to witness visions from the future, which made it clear that could change very soon. Okay. Jack Joyce dossier. Uh, classification, civilian witness of core heist operation. Objective, capture alive if possible, delivered to Paul Serene. Relevant background, known friend of Paul Serene before incident. Parents are deceased. Didn't actually mention that in Wills, did it? Uh, race self in teen years as brother became distant. Criminal record in Massachusetts. Grand Theft Auto. Simple assault. Attempt to rob or steal. Okay. Jack isn't as clean cut as he seems to be. Anyway. Left River Port in 2010. Never returned until incident. Received weapons training in Laos. Light and heavy firearms. Interesting. That explains why he can handle firearms like he can. Arrested for weapons related charges in 2015. Charges dropped. Why would he get trained in the house? 
Uh, relevant qualities, history of violent behavior when pushed, lack of respect for authority figures. Well, that just sounds like most of these sort of drama TV show sort of deal uh, protagonists. I mean, fuck, her name's Jack. <laughs> Uh, no knowledge of fracture or monarch operations. Onset of fracture will render Jack Cronon enabled. Yep. May possess low level Cronon abilities. Hey, if what we got her low level, that's pretty hardcore. Uh, briefing Jack Joyce will be present in the time machine lab during the onset of the fracture at 4 15 a.m. All exits. Okay, this is the same as Will's. Okay. Except for this Cronon ability is predicted to not manifest until two hours after fracture onset. I think we're ahead of time then, weren't we? Look, I got all the narrative things for this all right sir who is this Amy Ferrero she's one of the witnesses awaiting your orders and how to proceed activate junction my powers grew stronger even as the chronon syndrome worsened I could choose a path that would become the actual future, but it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. Junction impacts. The junction impact reveals two potential futures. Your decision at each junction point will steer the stories of both the game and the live, live action show. Interesting. Choose wisely. Hold the show hardline. Show hold the show PR. Initialize a PR campaign. I want to stay. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take a PR-friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. Jack Joyce! We'd use the media to expose, then hunt for Jack. I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch security station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. Interesting. I really, really like how they're doing this. Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Wait! Monarch would take a hardline approach. Crush all obstacles, eliminate all witnesses. It would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I dug through the area and I found everything I could on your bro. This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. But the people of Riverport would turn against us. Our secrets would be safe, but the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody on that bridge. Hmm. It almost feels like a, a difficulty choice, because the PR firm, uh, the PR approach, sorry, that, that looks like it would make it more difficult for Jack. But which is more Paul? I think he would be more manipulative. I mean, he played us like a fiddle, didn't he? Let's go with the PR. To unlock the soft touch. We can't risk any unwanted attention. Convince the witnesses not to talk. Keep eyes on them and send them home. Initialize a PR campaign. We need the city on our side. Not this one. She's the head of the anti-monarch movement. I think we're looking at the new face of our campaign. Jack! There's no other way out. We're going through the machine. Oh, wait. No! Jack! This way! Jack! I use my power to guide us to decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. 
I've seen the end of time. Okay, you chose to take Serene, take the PR approach. 75% of the community agreed with your choice. Oh, it's going to go like that. That's kind of cool. Huh. I guess that means that uh, a lot of players had hope for Paul. Not be quite as evil as he might be. Who knows? What? Right controls. Time's up. The one in the middle. I assumed that's your mother. On the left, of course, your father. And on the right, the little one. How old is she? One fourteen Lafayette. Is that correct? That was taken not five minutes ago by my associate Michael. What do you want? I want a statement. And you don't want Michael outside of your house a moment longer. What happens to me? Well, that's entirely up to you. Okay, I'll do it. I'm so glad we could work this out. Seems your work's been undone. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. How the fuck does that happen? Knowing how isn't important, you just need to find him. Wincott is working on a location. Great. What is it? What? Something's wrong. University. That's not how we operate. It was sloppy. Have all your operations gone smoothly? Go home, Liam. Wait for the call. I'm sure your wife misses you. thing about our friend Stan is Stan makes it easy. See, the guy goes around using the same username and password everywhere he goes. Now, <laughs> that means that his cloud isn't so protected. May I present to you Exhibit A. <laughs> wow, God, this guy's swinging for the fences. And what is that? What are you doing, Bear? Coffee cup. No, I know it's a coffee cup, but what is it doing on my table? The fuck? 
You know what this is? Do they have these in Idaho? Iowa. Whatever. Use it. You tell me what's next, Brenner? I don't know. I know you don't know. And that makes me sad for you. All we do now is upload our girl's video to Stan and our friends at WZWY send Stan a note with some of his private pics. And last but not least, we post a letter. That letter allows Reclaim to take full responsibility for everything that's happening. Signed sincerely, your local terrorist, Jack Joyce. You can say it. It's, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> Mr. Hatch, perfect timing. Me and Brenner, we just dug up some major dirt on uh, <laughs> on our news director over at WZWY. He'll be uh, he'll be running our copy and posting that girl's video within an hour. Good work, Woodcock. Where are we with Joyce? Joyce? Uh, well, I I got a lock on his transpo. I'm mean, I packed it into his camera. I'm, I'm waiting to find a locale. It's not it's not it's not incredibly easy. Keep an eye on it, and when you find him, contact Burke directly. I think we have a traitor in our midst. Traitor. Hello? Hello? I'll let you go, Mr. Hatch. Thank you. Was that Martin Hatch? Get the fuck out of my office. Get the fuck out of my office. Things have been really bad at work. I'm sorry. I just... I dreamt you were a cat. A cat? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> With these big furry bear paws. Way too big for your body. It was a strange creature. But I knew it was you. I have to get back to work soon. You work more than any field manager in the history of field managers. Well. <sighs> Baby, you haven't been home in two days. Your mom's being difficult. Oh, I'm, I'm, she is, I'm she's being, being difficult, huh? She's being very difficult. <laughs> what happened? Um, <laughs> what? I don't think that's the baby. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. You went. <laughs> Close your eyes. Yeah. Burke, you got a lead on Joyce. What is it? I was able to track his transpo to a warehouse on Burgundy and Wilkins. It's inside ground zero perimeter. Sending you the coordinates now.
technological frontiers beyond anything mankind has seen. Along with its innovative research and design programs, Monarch has sought out investments within the city of Riverport in order to rebuild this great city, transforming it into an economic powerhouse over the past... research and design. And with Monarch's greatest investment in the future being right here in Riverport, it's pretty clear how bright the future is for all of us. Paul, there's been a development. Jack, you've already seen it. Tonight on the island, he'll be there and he'll want revenge. I need him stopped now. I think our focus may be somewhat misguided to you. Your fifth column, traitor? You shouldn't take it so lightly. Joyce got lucky. He escaped. He's gone. He wouldn't be foolish enough to come back. Our only vulnerability is within, Paul. You should see that. Telling me what I've already seen. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. And I simply don't want to see you go down with it. Just find him. We take you now to Riverport University, where a violent showdown shook the town last night. Joining us now is Amy Ferraro, an eyewitness on the scene. Amy, tell us, what is going on here? There were people from our group who took things too far. Things got very violent. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. I want people to know that he is a very dangerous person, a terrorist. You bacon and egg sandwiches? Oh, Sounds like a terrifying thanks. down there. We really appreciate your bravery going on record to speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. I was over in the lab at the university this morning. Someone solved the equation. Huh? I've just received yeah. word that Monarch security forces have teamed up with local police to hopefully expedite the search for Jack Joyce and keep the people of Riverport safe as this very unsettling story continues to unfold. What's up, IT? And you wish I was IT. Hey, you don't have security clearance being here. Security clearance? Access granted. I thought you might have been up all night, so... You didn't get the runny kind, did you? No, it shouldn't be. It's cool, they're new. Oh, man. Fiona Miller. Terminated. You're fired. So what's the, what's the 411? What the hell's going on out there? The <laughs> 411. Yeah, the 411. <laughs> Uh, everything's, everything's fine. Everything's fine? Everything's fine. There was a shootout at the university last night. Nothing I couldn't handle. All right. You think they're gonna cancel the party tonight? Are you kidding? No way. Hatch knows what he's doing. You gonna go? To a party? Me? Go to a party. I don't know. We can roll together if you want. Okay. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll go. Okay, buddy. 
What are you gonna wear? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll go naked. Nice, I like that. Um, I gotta get back to my desk, so. See you tonight? Yeah. I'll see you tonight. Yep. Buddy. And this isn't what it looks like. Fuck, Beth. I really didn't want it to be you. You need to listen to me. Step away from the van. Step away! Right now! Drop the gun. I can't do that. You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. Then you're a marksman for shit. No. No! He's gone. Do you see what's happening? The stutters. More and more. Beth, Beth, what is, what is going on? Time is breaking down. The end is coming, and Joyce could be the key. Wait, 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 wait the, the, the end, the end of what? Beth, the end of what, the of end time, of what? Of time, of time, of life as we know it, the entire universe, gone. And somehow, Monarch has been preparing for it. They knew it was coming. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. Your hands on your head, down on your knees. Brown. Wilder, do not make me ask again. Oh. Joyce just took down half my men. You think maybe he had some help? We're unarmed. I was responding to I did not to give home. a fuck. Hey, I am with Monarch. On your knees! If they take me in, then it's the end for me. And for you. Now! Um, just do what he says. Do not let them take us. We'll never find the lifeboat. Think about Emily. Just relax. Liam! Shut up! This lifeboat protocol, what is it? I don't know, but Dr. Kim was at the center of it. Dr. Kim? If you can get into his lab. That's impossible. It's been closed up since he disappeared. Do you know anyone who could get you in? Golden boy. Charlie, I need a favor. Yeah. Okay, um, could we talk somewhere private? Uh, I'd really rather not. In your office, be good. 
It'll be really quick. Yeah. So what happened with Joyce? Oh, there was nothing there. Huh, there was nothing there? He, like, he just wasn't there, like, or what? No, Hatch, he, um, he reassigned me. He wants me to secure the perimeter lab on the island. He thinks oh. Joyce might go there. He sent me here to get access to it. Can you help me out? Yeah, sure, let me, uh, let me see what I can do. You know, it's really funny that you say that uh, that lead on Joyce was no good because, I don't know, uh, it sure looks like he was there. And that other guy kind of looks like you, but that's weird because you work for Monarch and that guy clearly, <laughs> clearly does not work for Monarch. Now, I can zoom in. Hey, hey, wait, stop killing me! Because I just put a high security alert out on your ass. You got about 20 seconds. You're bluffing. Hey, you're welcome to stick around and try to find out. You know what I'm gonna do to you. I have a pretty good idea what Monarch's gonna do to you. In about 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Good luck, buddy. Nine, eight. We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. Listen up, he's on level B, near the main overpass. Just a reminder to Monarch employees, get your flu shot, we are free of charge, get him in HR. superhero. Brenner, I'm dealing with it. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> He's in the building. Yeah. <laughs> south parking structure. I repeat, south parking structure, fourth floor. He's heading south on Eastman, south on Eastman. Phantom team, he's headed to you. He's flying, look out. Copy. Cut him off, cut, go.
Well, that was a thing. I did not expect something like that. I knew there was live action sequences, but I thought it'd be like Alan Wake, like a little five minute thing, not a, a full episode. <laughs> that was pretty great. I like that. But um, yeah, is it possible to have too many twists in a story? Because that seems to be where things are going with this. I'm going to have a hard time keeping up, honestly. Also, you may have noticed a couple, uh, I think it was two parts in there. We had a little icon in the upper right here. It looked like the uh, the uh, the time ripple thingy effect. Um, I guess that's because we did a thing. I don't know what the second one was from, but the first one was when uh, uh, Will completed that equation on that whiteboard. That was kind of neat. I mean, it was kind of inconsequential, but whatever. The choice we got to make with... Um, with Paul actually had an effect there, which is neat. So yeah, we got a, we're running a little late on this episode, but I, I didn't think we would have all of that. <laughs> but that's going to be it for this episode. If you liked it, why not give it a like, a comment, or a constructive criticism. And if you want more like it, why not subscribe? Either way, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed yourself, and I hope you'll join me next time. Stay spicy.